In 2012, Nsubu Gagasta and Biamukama Robin Hood were arrested by URA after internal investigation indicated that their online platform had been hacked into to access the tax body's automated system for customs data, a computerized customs management system that covers most foreign trade procedures. The group ensured that more than 150 cars had got number plates but none had paid taxes in the banks will ask the bank receipts that URA had based on to clear the vehicles were also forged by the group. However, the group appealed against the conviction at the Court of Appeal and the court ordered for their retrial after it was found out that they had been tried without pleading to the amended indictment and consequently occasioned a miscarriage of justice. However, dissatisfied with the Court of Appeal judgment, tax border URA ran to the Supreme Court to challenge the decision. On Monday, the Supreme Court ruled in favor of URA as it reinstated the 20-year jail sentences for each of the two men after reasoning with the tax body that the guidelines for plea-taking had not been breached and that, therefore, there was no miscarriage of justice. The Supreme Court also reinstated the 20 years jail terms for each of the two men. Patience Lubangumia, Commissioner Legal at URA, George Okelo, Assistant Commissioner Litigation, and Hilda Bakanesa, Manager Litigation, represented the state, while well as Evans Ocheng represented the convicts during the case at Supreme Court.